Hi there, Rob here at Power Learning Solutions, and today I'd like to talk to you for a few minutes about one of the most common ways that we as educators share resources like readings with our students, and that is by uh, sharing PDF files with them of articles or passages from textbooks or novels or whatever it may be. We frequently share PDFs with our students. Now, here's the problem that we need to make sure that we avoid when we share PDFs. You remember that old saying that a picture is worth a thousand words. Well, that is not always true, especially when we are talking about PDFs that are pictures. I'm sure that we've all seen this before in our days in uh, junior or senior high school or our university days when uh, we're given some photocopies from our instructors that have uh, something that they want us to read or they take a photocopy of something or scan something and they put it into a readings folder at the library or maybe even they scan a passage from a physical copy of a book and save it as a PDF and put it into our courses. Well, this is not a good practice because what you're actually sharing with your students is just a picture. It is not actually a document. There are no words in it that your students can actually read. Okay, so how do we check to make sure that we're not actually just sending a picture of some text to our students? Uh, well, the easiest way to check, most of us don't have Acrobat Pro. We would have Acrobat Reader. So the easiest, the, the most simple way to check is to open up a document and I have got uh, some examples here. This is uh, my uh, accessible version uh, and this is a flat version that's just a picture. If it is just a picture and you're looking at this in Acrobat Reader, the easiest way to tell is to try and copy paste some of the text. Try and highlight it and uh, copy paste it into Word or Notepad or something like that you'll notice that you can't actually grab any of the text. It's just a flat picture. Whereas if you look at my accessible version of this, you can see that I can copy paste the text. If you can copy paste the text, it is machine readable. A screen reader application can read this document out to your students who are using screen readers uh, for visual impairment issues. If it is a picture, it is not going to be able to read this out to your students. So the problem you've created is that you have sent a picture to them that they cannot read and you're excluding these students from being able to access your course resources. At this point, if you don't have any of the Acrobat Pro tools at your disposal, my recommendation would be if you can't copy paste the text, you can't share the text. Just don't share it with your students and find another resource. Okay, so there are some other ways that you can check the level of accessibility of your documents. One of them is built right into Acrobat Reader and into Acrobat Pro as well. And uh, it is an actual screen reader tool that your students may want to use to read this document out. I'm going to show you how to turn that on in Acrobat and show you what happens when you actually share one of these flat files or these image only PDF files with your students. So to turn on the screen reader, you would go to view on your menu bar. You'll see read aloud is listed here and I'm going to activate read aloud. And now I'm going to tell it to read this page to me. So I'll go down to read aloud again and read this page. This page contains an image. Would you like to run the text? I'm getting this uh, notification here because I'm using Acro Acrobat Pro. You might not get this if you're using Acrobat Reader. So I'll click no. Warning, empty page. And that's what your students would hear. Warning, empty page. There is nothing on it for them to read. If you look at my accessible version of this document where I can actually copy Digital paste. Accessibility cheat sheet. You see, when Easy I click on the text. Is to increase digital accessibility for documents and online content created by students, instructors, and instructional designers. It's actually reading the text out to me. This is an accessible document that can be machine read. Now, there are some more advanced steps to really making this an accessible document, and we are going to go over those in another video in this series about creating accessible PDFs.
The final way that I want to show you how to check these documents uh, for accessibility, if you have access to Adobe Acrobat Pro, which you can get even if your institution doesn't have it, you can subscribe to it uh, through Adobe Creative Cloud. It probably costs 10, 15 bucks a month just for Acrobat Pro. If you use a lot of PDFs, you create a lot of online instructional resources like I do, it is well worth the expense. Uh, but otherwise, you can see if your institution can provide you with a copy of it. So if you do have access, I'm going to deactivate Read Aloud here first. If you do have access to this, you can run an accessibility check on your PDFs. So I'm going to go back to my non-accessible version here. I've got the accessibility tool built in. If you don't have that tool built in, just click on More Tools. Look at the tools that are available here. You'll find accessibility is listed as one of those and just click add and then you can open it. So I've got it here and I can open that. And I will now get some accessibility options listed over here. And I am going to do an accessibility check on this. I'll start checking and it's telling me that I have a lot of issues here. And one of these is that it is an image only PDF and it has failed. So again, I am going to show you how to fix problems like this with your image only PDFs as part of another video in this series about creating accessible PDF resources for your students.